Insulation for the builders. I'm just going to put it up high so I can see where I'm going. One more pallet to go. Righty-ho, we've got insulation up here. Chiller guys went in finishing up in there. So they put that, that's kind of to stop the cold air coming out when the doors open, a bit of insulation. Drain going in here because we've got toilets at the back of that building. So that trench has been dug along here, teed into a junction in there, which already goes off the, there to the septic tank. Get some troughs here for the cows. Today's plan is to get the rest of the cows into this shed. We're getting stuff shifted out the road so we can get in and out. You'd think she'd be a bit smarter and just come over the top and then. There we go. Happy cues and some troughs. We're missing. Need one more here. And we got a wee bit of a space there. And we need more cows inside, which we're going to do today. Get the crush shifted along the road. Yard two is where the cows are at that we need to go and bring inside. Steady does it. Steady does it. Right, we're loaded up. There's the crush there. We've got the clippers, we've got the medicine, we've got everything we need. We're just shifting gates about and getting the right gates in the right places so we can make a pen for the calves that are coming in. I don't know how I've done this, but I've just plunked that gate down. And it's, it's staying upright. It's like a magic trick. That's magic. Anyway, calves pen in here. Uh, so there used to be horses in here. Need a couple of bales of bedding in there. There used to always be a lot of cattle at this yard. And I don't know, maybe the last 20 years there's not been many. So all the handling facilities and gates are all very tired, just needing a bit of attention and time spent on them. The field's over there. We need to firstly get them out the gate, secondly run them through the yard, up through there into the pens. Is it going to work? I don't know. These cows have never come out this field, so they're not used to going in and out the gate. On you go. We're short about 10, still out in the field. We'll get these into here and then don't know what we'll do after that. This is the lot that didn't play ball. We had most of them out the gate, but a couple turned around and then as soon as one turns around, that's it. Game over. So we've got everything else out, so we'll just see if we can get these ones to gander out the gate. They're looking like it. There we go. Dad's got a bag at the moment, a bag of feet, so they're following not too bad. That's it. One wee escapee. Not too far escape though. That's it. Right, cows from in there are coming in here to the pen over there because they're all going to get shifted along the road. We're splitting them off in threes, take them through there, and then we'll load them into the trailer. Oh, you bandit. Just giving the bulls some grub to distract them from the cows that are going past them. Dad's way with the first load. We've got a few gates in here just to put a bit of a funnel up there. That's the pen they were in. Run them up here into the trailer. So me and Kev will get the rest of the cows shifted while Dad runs the first load. We need a big float. Sing off the cows that are rolling. Just another two to add to the batch. I got such a fright because I, I knew there was one missing, 091, because I recognise her all the time. And she was missing. So I thought she'd jumped the fence or a few others had jumped. While we were segregating off, Dad had been and picked up another load and I didn't know. There's no worse a feeling than thinking cows have pegged it across the field. Kev's grabbing the crush there. I'm going to make a wee makeshift race in here. So what we'll do, we'll bring all the calves out into this block. We'll set up some gates in here, run them in there, up the race, clip them, jag them, worm them, straight back in. We need to open the gate up there. We need to open something up there as well to get a bit of airflow in here. Don't want it to be stagnant and still because they heat up, they sweat. They get pneumonia. Here basically. <laughs> Euro is roaring. Anyway, these are four empty cows, which we're going to get fattened up a wee bit. So we can start beefing these four up and then we'll send them off to slaughter. They're empty. It doesn't make financial sense to keep them basically through the winter. It's a cost. What's going to happen to the calves? We're going to get stuck in. They're going to get hair cut. And? Injected. Injection? Yeah, and what's the haircut going to do? We're going to cut them all up. Cut their hair. Cut their hair. Have a wee hair trim. Time to 
tying this back because it's not connected to anything. Uh, the calves can just shunt it about and want it a wee bit narrow to funnel them into the crush. So we're botch jobbing it. Filled by Fergus out of his element, usually in the farm shop with nice, nice clean clothes on today. He's got his wellies on. <laughs> along the back again to let the let it breathe, stop it sweating. I've injected it with this. Same as what we did the other day. There you go. Both have passed. Pneumonia, they get a five mil dose of that twice, so four weeks ago they got another dose of that. And that's them. Um, happy days for pneumonia, hopefully. As well as making the shed a bit more airy by opening the doors. All we can do to help. You getting a haircut, pal? Cheese. How many's in there? Four in there. There's how many left? Probably about 20 to go. I like this calf. This is one of a twin, and the other twin obviously got a bit more milk than this twin. It was scrawny to begin with, but it's starting to pile on the beef now. Well, not pile it on, but it's getting bigger now. It's eating out the creep feeders, and now it's inside. It'll be on the feed and some straw. Happy days. Nice dry conditions, it'll do a lot better. It's never going to be a prize winner, but it's quite a nice calf. Not the best looking, but quite like him. We've got an escape here, and it's no, no, no. Oh my, come on in. There we go, cabs are in, happy days, they look happy. We'll get them fed up over the next four weeks till they're on ad lib. Get the troughs along there. It's now a lot later, the last thing you saw was the escapee calf or something like that. Anyway, I didn't really film too much today. My GoPro's out of action and I was just trying to get all these calves through and concentrating rather than getting a kick in the in the knackers. Just coming out through the cat buck because one of these posts, which is fairly obvious, has been wiped out and there's a bit of car next to it. Yes, post, 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 post. Oh. <sighs> what is that off? That's a, that's a discovery. That's a side panel of the discovery. A side skirt, I think, or maybe a Range Rover or something like that. Let's see if it says on it. RR Range Rover. That was close. 2019. Fairly new one as well. Do they want it back? Wonder if they snapped it. Oh, they've not snapped it. They've been picking up rubbish as well. The thing is, it seems obvious, but without this post here, people will park like that as they're meant to, but not having that singular post, they'll just keep going. And then boom, they're there. And then people can get turned at the ends. And then it's a mess. And here comes the dog. And if this is the piece of your car, I will keep it at the back of the shop for a week. And if you don't arrive, it'll go in the bin. Range Rover 2019-ish, grey in colour. If you've got one of them and you're missing a bit, here it is. All the coups are in. Happy days. They're roaring a wee bit because the calves have been weaned today. They'll settle down over the next few days. This new line of barriers is working well. So it used to just go straight on there and that feeder was there so we've probably lost maybe space for three heads there to feed but we've gained all of that section here still need to put a trough down here it was just that wee bit tight last year so those extra seven spaces will help a lot anyway cheers for watching i'm currently in london <sighs> missing the fields already missing the cows kev's been demoing uh, an online plow today so we'll have videos and pictures of that kev sent me a few of them so we'll get them tomorrow and a few other bits and bobs i've filmed see you like the video subscribe